the bushes. And I forgot the explosions. I forgot to hit record. <laughs> Great. So now it's not on recording that I forgot the bird tars. Very glad. Yeah, but now it is recorded that you forgot the bird tars. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Centaur World. Woohoo! Um, Sunny, how how much longer? I'm putting in the images of the bird tars now. How much longer until the slideshow is done, Sunny? As soon as I finish cropping the heckin' bird tars, Aiden. <laughs> I feel like I'm like Captain Kirk it's telling Scotty he has to push the warp engine. All just freaking comfortable, Doug. <laughs> Everything is comfortable, Doug. Chat, if you ever look up images of Centaur World, no matter what specific thing from Centaur World you look up, comfortable Doug shows up. Yeah, this is just the weirdest of shows. Um, the best way that I think kind of put it is... The biggest fun. Um, you, you mix, like... Gumball, Gumballed, or like Adventure Time. With Gumballed? Gumball. With like. Full Metal Alchemist. Um, which, which is kind of close to it. There is a little bit of alchemy going on here in this wait, show. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. That yeah, think is. about it. Okay, I think I'm done. You think you're done? I think I'm done. Okay, so um, yeah, Sunny made a slideshow, and um, if if she's sure she's done, I'm gonna switch to it. Yes, I'm done. I'm gonna just explain more of anything I've forgotten to put in. Okay. I've procrastinated long enough, and I added the bird tars. <laughs> oh. Okay, so. <laughs> Centaur World, it's better than it looks. Are and you I'm, reading I'm, it, or am I? Oh, can you, uh... Have, do you have my stream pulled up so that you can? Yep. Okay, done. I'll let you read it. Okay. Centaur World, it's better than it looks. You can click. I, oh, I okay. did. Oh, okay. I, I have a slight delay, then. I see, I see what your chat sees. Alright. Yeah. Horse. Yes, that is her name. She is a warhorse from the normal world. She is a tough character that does not understand anything about the world she's thrown into. And this is the only reason why the show really works. Because we don't understand anything about the world that she's thrown into. She oh. also saves a few brain cells that you have watching this. Oh, yeah. Her reactions are normally also our reactions. Like, uh -huh. like I'll, 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 I'll move on to the next slide so that we can properly show what type of brain cell melting will be going on. I mean, the next one is about Ryder. Oh, the next one is Ryder. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I usually <laughs> introduce characters first, but after this, I believe we see it. Anyway, Ryder. We never learn her name. She is a warrior. She is horse's rider, hence the name Ryder. Um, also considered to be the only family horse has... And Horse is the only family she has. She's loyal to her world and loyal to Horse. If you've never seen, um, if you like Narnia books, then you would know the book, um, uh, The Horse and His Boy, I think the title was. Horse and His Boy. Is that one of yeah. the older ones? Or not the older, but the farther in ones, That's I guess. That's one of the ones that doesn't get talked about a lot. Like, um... Like the silver chair and um, and it's uh, been a while ones. since I've read them. Um, where basically you have like a talking horse, and <laughs> um, and a human boy, and you know they're you know they're kind of trying to get through uh, the world of Narnia, but that's kind of what this is. Um, you you have horse and her girl. Oh no, now next time I reread Narnia, this is going to be my head. And my bird <laughs> just flew into my computer. And we already have a we don't talk about Bruno joke. 
you don't talk about Bruno, <laughs> but it was our wedding day. We're, wedding we're, we're not singing the whole song. We're not getting copyright strike by talk Disney. Talk about Centaur World. No, <laughs> no, we don't talk about Centaurs. But... It but was that. a demon cast. <laughs> <laughs> it was a demon cast. <laughs> I'm, I'm not continuing on. Uh, next slide coming up. <laughs> oh. Getting lost. Horse and rider find an artifact that they need to bring back to the general. On their way back to camp, they find the camp is on fire and need to leave to find the general. While leaving, they find they're being chased by minotaurs. Uh, while fighting the Minotaurs, Horse falls off a heckin' cliff, uh, only holding the artifact that is also held by Ryder, so very much I'll never let go, Jack, moment. <laughs> um, while trying to save Horse, the artifact breaks and sends Horse into a different universe while Ryder is overcome by Minotaurs. It's the heckin' cliff! Watch out yep. for the heckin' cliff, Horse! And again, I will, n as I said, I will never let go, Jack. Oh. Writer said, "I will never let go, horse, and then let go." Gee, oh my God! Where the f is this? <laughs> <laughs> you kind of bleeped yourself out there. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> oh, uh, that, I, that I have a talent. That that I have does a talent of. Oh yeah. I I was about to say that does perfectly describe. Yeah. Um, what, what we're jumping into. Yep, I also have a talent of bleeping myself out when I swear. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Horace finds herself waking up in a land where literally everything is a heckin' centaur. It's weird. Also, before, before you move to the next slide, Aiden. Yeah. Everyone, please look at the, um, image with the weird giraffe monstrosity. And then look at the weird duck mountain thing behind him. If you've seen Markiplier Spore, does anyone else agree that that looks like mmm? Yeah, it definitely does. That's mmm. Um, and if you can also see, um, like, like this mountain right here, and these trees over here, everything, everything. really is a goddamn centaur. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Castle Dragon's already getting freaked out by the, uh... Oh, well, I got great news. I got great news for you, then, Castle of Dragons. It's the <laughs> next it's slide! Flip to the next slide! Durpleton Durpleton, my friends. He is cringy. He is known as a Draftar. Not the smartest. When he starts singing, it's bad. Like, really bad. <laughs> Makes you wonder why you've even watched this much of the show kind of bad <laughs> yes the screams are necessary chat um he was abandoned by his family because he was playing with toys and pretty much just being annoying to his parents and yes his parents insult him you heard me right his fucking farts so a couple of things one uh you spelled giraffetar wrong i'm sorry it's what google decided giraffetar was spelled <laughs> Um, and and secondly, like, if if we're gonna talk about like his parents, we don't um, talk about Durpleton. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> enough with the Bruno jokes. <laughs> There's never enough. In <laughs> um. Uh, do you have a slide talking about his parents? Oh, this is it. Okay, so I, I quickly want to mention, like, his parents. They're both horrible. Yep. And the quote-unquote annoying wouldn't have been annoying for any other parent. I forgot something else to include. In Durpleton? Yeah, I forgot to include the Durple Drop. Oh, uh, add Durple Drop right now, then. Wait, can, if I actually edit it, can you guys see that? Wait. Let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing any editing on my side. There's no words that say hi? Nope. Darn. Okay, you're, so you're, probably you're not... Probably not while you're um, 
in slideshow mode. Uh, quick explanation of a derple drop. Um, his neck stretch is extremely heckin' long. Outer space. And, uh, yeah, outer space. He can pick someone up with it and, uh, drops them. He did this to break horse out of ice. And also said his parents used to derple drop him, which probably explains a lot about him. Yeah. Yep. This is definitely a person who was dropped on the head way too many times. Yeah. Or maybe not enough times. No, no, no. If, if it was any more, <laughs> I feel like it would be more disturbing. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll just or go you, with... Or are you trying to say we need to murder <laughs> Derpleton by fall damage? Would the world really be any... Ah, uh, moving on. <laughs> moving on. In character who would probably be a lot different. Zulius! This is Aiden's favorite. He really um, he's is. He's an icon. Sassy. Very gi. Uh, he's a zebratar. Uh, he knows theater and singing. He practices some real heckin' self-care. I mean, the dude somehow brought a, uh... Was that a tent with him in a world that I don't he think tents brought, usually exist in? He brought not only a tent, but a white sound machine and so much fucking makeup. Yep. He 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 prioritizes much of himself. Um yeah. he can also make his hair do whatever he wants, which is yeah. It comes yep. in handy. Um it, Yeah, he I, can I, make I, it into a rope. He can make into a tiny version of himself. I think but... th his hair thing comes in more use than anything that Derpleton does. Yes. So. Derpleton's farts insult him. That's the majority of what he does. I mean, not throughout the entire run, but, you know, we'll, we'll get no, to that. No, just from the beginning. Yeah. But, no. Um, yeah. To somewhat correct, this is my second favorite character. Wait, who's your favorite? Well, actually, no, we'll get through the character well, you'll, you'll, descriptions. You'll, you'll get to my favorite actual character. Okay. Um, I'm scared this, for when we... This is definitely my... Out of the main core cast of um, the quote-unquote herd, this is my favorite um, character for the centaurs. Oh, wait, okay. I think I know who you're talking about. It's your first favorite. Probably do. Anyway, <sighs> let's go to your favorite. Glendale! I hate that I love her. <laughs> <laughs> um, she is the rogue of the group. She steals things and keeps them in her pocket dimension called her tummy portal. Her voice is cursed, but her singing voice is actually really good. Also, I don't know what the heck she is. Aiden says she's like, what, a llama? I think it's supposed to be like a llama tar? No, I... she looks almost how yeah i you're right but i wouldn't call her a cow i don't know what she, she's glendale that's all you need to know glendale is a glendale yeah that, i think that's that's all we it's, glendale isn't really a tar glendale is just glendale um, yeah she's just glendale she exists on her own dimension yeah and yeah when she does sing she actually is like professional good it's, yeah. it's weird how good she can actually sing. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, like oh, her, also, her voice. Oh. Sorry, uh -huh. I, I, I want to I wanna put this in here. Also, okay. Sunny normally, when she plays D&D, &D, plays the rogue. Yeah, I've been in two D&D &D three D&D &D sessions, and they're all rogues also dragonborns because i enjoy being a yeah. six foot thief so um that's why sunny absolutely hates loving her because, because this she's is what i do in D. &D. Th this is sunny's characters in a nutshell <laughs> it is I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> also what's also funny is uh sunny normally plays uh the rogues you know the the people that steal stuff but Sunny, the character in um, Silver Sun SMP, is the one that is always getting stolen from. Yeah, I am. It, <laughs> we even joke. We joke about it on the um, well, on the server. 
think it was Moth who was talking about needing to get resources, and Cat replies, eh, I just steal. I'm like, eh, I just get stolen from. Yeah. That potato yep. farm that says, do not steal. What happened? Stolen. <laughs> there's a reason why the word, there's a reason why Cat's name is written on there. Oh, God, Jesus you flipped to Cat. Christ. <laughs> why? <laughs> Okay, so Why? a friend of mine made me include the Jesus image. Why do you do this to Jesus? Why do you do this to my home man? You know, I I legit almost didn't do it, and then my uh, and then my friend saw the image and uh, pretty much said, "You are not allowed to take that off of the slideshow." Also, oh. I very much agree with the fact that the screaming from Castle of Dragons is constantly on screen. Screen, yeah, that's and very it, fitting. It's very fitting right now. This is this is full out blast for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so coming from the person Ed. who is being coming from the person who's like an online demon, this is blast for me. Chet doesn't look as uh, Chet doesn't look any happier to be there than than we do. Yeah. Anyway, so Chet, he is a bird tar, strongly against horses. He is buff. He has a horrifying special spell where he can be handsome for five minutes. Quote unquote. I believe. Quote unquote Quote un handsome. Yeah, you, you see the image on the top there, where he looks like, uh, what's the name, Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist? That, that's... Don't, don't, don't compare the two. It. Don't compare the two. One I'm is actually a Adonis, the other one... Look, belongs... one is good, the other... One is good, the other is Heck and Chet. I forgot to include another th Ah! Do I want I'm to I'm forgetting know? a lot of things. Uh, I'll let you people know I forgot when we finish. Okay. Um, so yeah, he was once used as a ball back home where he lived. That was a thing. And he uh, hates centaurs or horse tars, which I forgot to include in here. You, how do you forget the horse tars? I'm sorry. They're, they're, they're kind of forgettable. But, tuli but tulip stepping. Yeah, they they step on tulips. No, they but try not to not step, step on, on tulips. <laughs> They're the centaurs that step on tulips, but don't step on tulips. Uh, by the way, Castle Dragon's brain windy. is now leaking out of her ears. Castle Dragon's no tinfoil can keep you safe from from dead. Yeah. Let's 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 move on to someone who, like, I think most people can very much stomach Wama Week. I mean, Wama Wink's the more normal-ish of the group. Which is saying uh, she's, something. She is the mom friend. Uh, she's a sheep tar, trained to be a shaman. She's overprotective. She doesn't believe she can actually use magic, but is actually pretty good at it. And uh, yeah, her whole family is dead. They were killed. Um, that's explained later. Balloon animal? Maybe. Yeah, 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 kind of. Um... Yeah, uh, there, 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 there's some, there's... Balloon tar? Balloon tar. Oh my god. Let's Chat, not add uh, more tars. That, that would be a thing. If you make a balloon animal in centaur world, I'm very sure it will gain sentience in about a day. And become a balloon tar. Jeez. And become that a balloon must tar. be a terrifying existence. Because anything could kill you at that point. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyways, th I, I do actually really like Wama Wink. Um, she, she's got trauma, which that's always fun. Um, yep, you can see it both in the bottom image and yeah. the top left image, I think. The one where one eye is twitchy. Yeah. And besides, yeah. like, Zulius and a couple of other centaurs in here, um, I think she's got, like, one of the better centaur designs. Mm, yeah. I, I think the only thing I have a problem with are, like, her incredibly tiny hooves. Um. Oh, that's why Chat's saying she's a balloon animal, because we're, like, the little part of the balloon yeah, they, that you they look tie. Like, yeah, they look like, um, the part of the balloon that tie off. Yeah. Um. But I, I really like Wama Wink. <laughs> 
mean, yeah, it's, just, it's a good character. Definitely, like, I think after the first episode, she gets, like, progressively better and better. Yeah. Um, and since she is the more grounded of um, the herd there, it's a lot easier to get to like her. Yeah. Especially because she's not Durpled. <laughs> Why? You don't like Durpleton? Actually, it's a lot of her. Look at that last image of Durpleton. Yeah. Look at that heckin' neck. God. Anyway, Christ. meeting group. <laughs> Horace is understandably freaked out. Um, all the group did was think about how wonderful their world is, and they revealed they can shoot tiny versions of themselves from their hooves. Yes, this is strangely important, and they do it very often. And it does come up at the end of the show. Which I also forgot to include in this. You forgot the finale? I'm sorry, I rushed the ending. <sighs> like the writers did. Anyways. Oh! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so... Horace keeps trying to leave, but learns there's a dome keeping all of them in this valley. So Horace has to sing to them to convince them to help her get help wait help her get back home with their magic. You know, so like if you ever want to communicate with a um, you know, like musical theater nerd, just sing to them. Uh, they set off on a on the rainbow road to find the shaman that can help Horace get back. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on to the. Let's move on to my favorite things in this show. The first creepy thing. Yep. The tornado. Um, it's pretty much a tornado that sucks people in, and I think is a combination of multiple souls that's like taken. Yes, yeah. tiny versions of themselves, Chai. And when they shoot them from their hooves, each tiny version of themselves has a uh, sort like midlife crisis or beginning they have life a crisis. They have a mental breakdown. Run away breakdown. into the woods screaming. Yeah. Mental breakdown. Anyways, uh, yeah, Tornado. I think this is episode two that we get introduced to Tornado. And it helps set what's going to be going on in this show. Um, yeah, uh, this is one of also my favorite songs because it's a good one, yeah. Like, you have Horse singing this kind of like triumphant, like power song that you know, and in the background, you have this creepy thing, just all the lyrics are just like subtly telling you that we're here to kill you but in the Thank way you. of saying that we're not going to kill you like yep you will be a part of us um you will be ours you were you all made also, for us it's like it's gonna say like very, i did write down the uh yeah one of the lyrics you can't escape from us you all made for us. Just give up. Just give in. You will rise now. I also realized too that in the image it also says you are one of our thousand souls, which is also part of the song. Yeah. Yeah. Which means um, people have definitely get gotten sucked up by this thing. Um, there there are bodies. In the sky. That is a lot darker than... Wow. <laughs> you went a lot darker than I was going. That's what I love about this show. How dark it can go. Even though it's freaking centaurs. Yeah, no, this thing gets uh, very creepy. Yeah, okay. Let, let's, let's move on to the sassy queen. Water baby! Yeah. Water Baby is a hippotar. She taught Wama Wink her magic. She is sassy, and I am not lying when I say she's the first intelligent centaur we meet. She also lives in a water house, like a, a house on the water. Yeah. 
Um, yep. it, it's it's a boathouse, you know. Boathouse that the group totally did not break. <laughs> it's actually kind of really, I would say, uh, simple. Um, it's yeah. you know just just. Imagine a boat, and then you put, like, a small, small, like, wooden house, like what yeah. you see in Minecraft. By the way, uh, Sunny, you're a little quiet. Am I? Yeah. Is this better? No. No? Am I, am I turned down for you? I mean, I haven't turned you down, so. Am I low at all? A little bit. Well, as in, can you turn me up, or...? Okay, yeah, no, I got you now. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I just had to turn you up a little bit on Discord. Yeah. Oh, she sounds good to you guys? Okay, um, might have been on my end. Yep. <laughs> Castle Dragon says, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I guess I need to watch more than <laughs> one episode. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, this is why we make this the what, show. This is why you have the three episode rule. Yep. Well, I go for two episode rule usually. I go with a three episode rule. Um, honestly, if I didn't go with that, um, one of the shows that I actually really like right now, I probably wouldn't have kept watching. Oh. Um, oh, wait, my. Can you hear my Discord going off? Because I didn't realize I didn't turn no, it on. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear it go off. Oh, okay. Yay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. So, Water Baby. Water Baby. Um. That, that was it with Water Baby. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Set off on an adventure. Uh, Water Baby reveals that she has a start of a key between, or a key to the portal that leads between worlds. Uh, she sends Horse and her friends to see the other shamans to get their shards of the keys, and she promises to meet up with Horse and the others at the end of the road with her piece of the key. So they go key hunting. Basically. Yep. Oh, the mole people were one of the first? I think so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, no, they weren't, damn it. Okay, disclaimer, this is not in order, chat. <laughs> I think it was trees that was first. Yeah, I'm, like. Do you want to go down to yeah, and then sure. no, zoom gonna... back up? Nah, now nah, let's go to mole people. I know they're your favorite. <laughs> mole people, they're disturbing. Uh, the group walks up to a giant hole in the ground, as you see in the top image. Uh, they enter said hole. They get arrested by disturbing Moltars that are always sweating. Uh, yeah, they uh, break out the horse. They break out, and horse's tail starts telling jokes. Yeah, this amuses the mole shaman into giving them. Giving up her part of the key, and Horse is now terrified of her tail, which is now a stand-up comedian. Yeah. Part of the thing in Centaur World is there's, like, a crap ton of magic, and it kind of starts corrupting you. Yep. So, um, yeah. One of the new little powers Horse gets is a tail that can talk. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, chat, uh, the tail tells jokes. It is a- The tail tells jokes. It is a very bad comedian. Yeah. And not in the fact that- Very, uh... Yeah. It, it's like it, one of those comedians that knows how to do jokes, but doesn't tell funny ones. I can't, can't make a joke. Sure. It's a very, uh, long tail of how the, uh... Tail, oh. sorry. Stop biting oh. me. My bird hated that joke so badly that I started good, friggin' attacking my good fingers. Good bird. Good bird. Sora, what the heck? What the heck? <sighs> <laughs> he doesn't like my fingers for some reason. 
Anyways, let's go to yeah. Comfortable <laughs> Duck! No! So, as I titled, this also exists. Comfortable Doug. he is also sweating and shows up a lot. His name is Hecking Comfortable Doug. This is not the face of anything that should have the word comfortable in its name. But Comfortable Doug is the best character! He's <laughs> my favorite! Favorite. I'm not even gonna joke with that. He's not my favorite, but like, <laughs> it it's kind of a running joke of how much like we're supposed to like comfortable Doug. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! All right, this is this is what actually what they actually walked into first. Yeah. Um, the trees. They walk into the woods and find two living tree tars. Um, there we find out that horse can pretty much look into people's backgrounds, like she can backstories. jump into s backstories, sorry. Um, I know I accidentally wrote the wrong word. Anyway, <laughs> she can like jump into someone's mind and just see whatever angst they have hidden in there. Um, it does kind of pause them in place, but yeah, um, uh, since she tests it out on, I think like Wama Wink. Uh, yeah. We learned that Wamawing's family is gone, which is why she's so protective over the group. They also turn oh, Ched into a horse. It's not only her family is gone, it's her, her entire, entire town. Uh, Basically, everyone she knew and loved dies. Yeah. Am I okay? No, I am not okay. I'm talking, also, I'm talking about Centaur World. I am not okay. She also explained that this is also where Durbleton's farts start complimenting him instead of insulting him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's where that happens. Let me tell you yep. about like the like the good thing. The tree shamans are actually really cool. Um, they have the ability of like manipulating reality to give you what you need, and it's not what you want. It's what, it's you, what you need. need. Um, so, Durpleton needed a emotional fart, apparently. Yeah, apparently. Um, yes, the farts talk. Yes, the farts do talk. D it, it's it makes it like the second thing that, you know, talks from the butt, so. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Um, the tree tars also have like one of my favorite songs. And I don't remember the tree tar song. Um, it's uh the we care not what you want but what you need. What oh, you yeah. need? Ah, la la la! What you need? Be honest, when you said that, first thing that popped into my head was the song from uh, Princess and the Frog. Yeah. Yeah. Can't get what you wanted. You can't get what you need. Try the thing you say anything. Yes, a lot of vocal a holes. <laughs> yep. In more ways than one. Oh man. Um, one of them's both an a hole and an a hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two for the price of one. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I I do love the tree tars. Um, I, I know that this is showing, like, probably the worst of them, but I'm gonna defend- what? No, like- I have a good image! No, like, you have a good v image of the tree tars, but you also have Ched as a horse. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. Yeah. Ched as a horse, he was very unhappy. Yeah. Oh, and the cat At tars. the musical. Um, they have to compete in a talent show to get the next piece from the shaman, from the cat shaman. This is also where we find Zulius' boyfriend, the tiger guy on the bottom there. Yeah. They don't like each other at first, but, you know. They, no, they don't like each other in the first season. And then the yeah, second season meant. hits. Yeah, that's what I meant. And, they yeah, don't okay. like each other at first. Yeah, but there's also no... Like, you say that in a way where, you know, oh, so, you know, this character... Oh, uh, yeah, no, and, not and, in the episode. Yeah, no. It is, without a doubt, the biggest turnaround and one of the 
like this show has a bunch of moments where you're just like looking at it and you're going what the fuck but this is one of those moments where in like going through like the writing for the show i go what the fuck <laughs> and oh, um yeah. yeah sunny's not kidding um all the cats are basically doing cats the musical pretty much the first introduction you have with them it embarrasses a second slide for this just oh, letting oh, you know okay but before we explain too much of it there is a second slide for the no wait is there not did i friggin forget that next is okay the there bear. isn't one aiden go on and tell the cat talk <laughs> about the cat um they parody cats the musical a lot in this so like when you first meet them it sounds like cats the musical done in a parody style um there's the also there, yeah there's also a certain song that um i don't think you put in yet um, no i did no we have oh wait Wait, I'm an idiot. There is a second one, but I put the bear thing before it by accident. Okay, wait. Um. Oh God. I moved to it. Okay. Uh, at some point, we're gonna have to zoom back up to the bear because I yeah. messed that up. Yeah. Because it's. Um, yeah. But yes. Uh, apparently, Castle Dragons loves cats. This is more though cats the movie than the musical. Yeah. Also, I just realized we should have done the bear before that one. I messed this entire slideshow up. I apologize. You really did. This is what happens when you procrastinate. Oh, shut up. I didn't know we were doing that this today. I said, hey, by the way, it could be a possibility that we're doing this. Yeah, I know. When you say possibility to me, that means most <laughs> likely. <laughs> anyway, dressing up horse. Uh, to win the talent show, Zulius dresses up horse and teaches her how to act like the cats um horse then decides to do things her way and gets the key piece anyways yeah we should probably move back up to the bear because i think that's supposed to be before cat or do we want to go to the next slide then back to the bear let, let, let's go to bear let's go to bear because bear okay. is before cats yeah um bear uh, the group tr the group travels to a wooden like woodland area, not wooden area. Uh, woodland area where there's a bear tar. Uh, he is obsessed with miniatures of like what horses' world is like, pretty much like D and D kind of stuff, but not D and D like the yeah. history buff nerd sort of thing. He's the type of guy um, that like makes battlefield uh, dioramas in. Like their basement. Yeah. That's pretty much what he does here. Yeah. Um, he also tries to make horse into one too. He also has a human that just lives with him rent free in secret. We'll get to her. Yeah. Which by the way, there are no humans in Centaur World at the moment. Oh yeah. No humans, um, only centaurs. We we see this one human once, and then we see this human again, and the bear and um, Water Baby apparently both know them. Yeah. But um, well, yeah, we'll get to why. Um, yeah. Hopefully. No one can didn't warning. To... Oh, there we go. So now no, we're talking. Now we're so talking this about is... that. So I believe actually we see this a few times. This isn't just after the cat's musical. Yeah. We we hear it after they're walking up like walking away from the tree tars. Yeah. And then we hear it repeated by the cat. And it's pretty much a song that's meant to be a warning of the what the nowhere king. Yeah, the nowhere king. And one of my favorite songs. Eh, you have probably it's... heard me sing this during uh, Murder no. Mystery. <laughs> yeah. When, when, whenever you hear Aiden start singing, Hush, Hush now. now. Quiet, Bye -bye. you little ones. Rush now into the middle of nowhere. 
singing and laughter will die. Dream their sleep. Dreamless. Oh, yeah, dreamless sleep. Follows Sorry. Follows the nowhere king when his king dom comes. Darkness is nigh. I won't sing the entire thing. Yeah. And, yep. Yeah. It's but, a um, song about much him wanting to kill you. You will bring joy to the nowhere king. When he sees the light leaving your eye. <laughs> I fucking love this song! <laughs> it is a very creepy song. Oh, it's so creepy and it's it's so great. Um Yep. Yeah, now let's <laughs> <laughs> this, this Um Merman! Yeah. Uh, they go to a dock to find a single fish man who is trying to get everyone to play his games. Like, he's got a carnival set up on the dock. Um, Horace starts feeling upset because she now looks like two beach balls smooshed together in horse form. Yeah. Which, I do believe I have images in the next couple of slides-ish. Yeah. Um, also, Wamawank ends up having a thing for the fish man, but he's got a girlfriend. Um, Jessica. He's also trying, to, yeah, he's also trying to keep them from talking to the whale shaman. Um, and I'm guessing whale shaman is next. Sonny. Yes. <laughs> is that the next slide? When I turn the slide, it's going to be... The shaman. It's gonna be the whale shaman. Oh, hey, look at there. Yeah, you see? <laughs> this is a part I didn't exactly do much to, which is why it's in order. <laughs> so, the whale. Um, the last shaman is a whale who pretty much eats people and absorbs their sadness, thinking she's helping them. It's really creepy. Yeah, this is... It'll get out at the end, but, you know, it's still really creepy. Th this is one of those um, parts where also Wamawink kind of comes into play, being, like, top-tier, like, mom friend, of talking horse out of committing suicide. Uh, warning the for lies. those who have um, un uncomfortableness of um, the talks of uh, suicide. Um Horses. Could also say unalive too. Like, yeah, that's what a lot uh, of TikTokers do. True. So, um, horse unalives herself technically in this episode. Um, and it is given like the all the same like gravitas as you would see like in anything else that would you know have a character unalive themselves. Um, not like Pinocchio chat like um. It's not as trippy as Monstro, and most of what I know about Monstro is from Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, it's, no, it's, it's like, not Monstro. Um, it's more like um, uh, the tale to... of uh, Eurydice. Oh God, I'm blanking on, but um, but yeah, basically the um, horse unalives herself, and Wamawink needs to go in to drag her out of there. Um, yeah, you you wouldn't see Geppetto jumping into this into the shaman. I don't know. After trying to find his boy for so long, I think I would see Geppetto jumping. Especially, what? no, Geppetto wouldn't give up. He didn't give up when Monstro ate him, did he? True, true. Okay. Geppetto, Geppetto's a stubborn old man. But um, yeah, dark themes keep getting darker, and they don't stop getting darker. They don't stop getting dark, and they don't stop getting dark, and they don't. No, I was trying to. So the whale eats nah. uh, the whale eats the horse and the horse becomes un unalived. unalived. Un so you know alive put on becomes, it in front of it. And technically she's not dead though. She's just swallowed by a whale and slowly becomes absorbed into a ghost. Which is kind of yeah, it's kind of But in the trippy in between sort of area it touches it very strongly without being like too 
like yeah basically uh the so the... it's like the grim from harry potter when ron says you're gonna suffer but you're gonna be happy about it but even of darker she's gonna be stuck in a whale for the rest of her eternity but she's gonna be happy about it exactly yeah, the horse song exactly the teacup tea tea shot cup. you get it <laughs> You get it! <laughs> you're gonna be swallowed by a whale, but you're gonna be happy about it. Anyways, so the final song. The final song. Also, I apologize if things get weird here. Um, I made this, I made this, uh, thing in a, this, what is it? What, am, what are we on? I don't know, what are we on? Google what? Slides. I made the slides. I forgot the word slideshow for a moment. Jeez. <laughs> um, <laughs> Google. I I made this Google slide in a rush before. Um. Yes. So uh, things I'm not, Will get weirder. Yeah. I'm also not sure how in order they're gonna be from here on out. They should still be in order. But anyway, nothing's been in order stomp. anyway. So. <laughs> Um, the group makes it to the portal between worlds and meet up with Water Baby, who opens the portal. Horse jumps through the now activated portal. Uh, she ends up in a completely, like, white blank location. Um, with only, like, one other portal on the other side of the room. Uh, through that portal, a lizard man kind of runs through and ends up getting killed. Quote unquote killed by uh, who other than Ryder? Which, Before by the way, back, the though, lizard man becomes important. So yeah, don't the lizard the man lizard does man. become. I, I made a slide for him. We're, we're good with him. Yeah. Yep. I'm just saying that know. so that when people, when we get to the slide, people aren't like, what the fuck? Where'd the lizard yeah, guy yeah. come from? Yeah, and uh, I'll be like, guys, remember the lizard dude? Well, here he is again. Yep. I'm hoping I actually... Okay, I did actually write stuff about it. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, before Horse can get back through the portal, though, um, the portal is deactivated by the human who lived with the bear tar. Yeah, she... Yeah, that makes no sense where I wrote, shows up at the end, so ignored those last two words. Um, she starts singing about the Nowhere King, who is trapped in that space between- a Aiden! I wasn't done! I'm excited to go to Nowhere King! I wasn't done! Okay! Anyway, sh she's singing about the Nowhere King, who is trapped in the space between. She then traps Horse and Rider in the same place out of fear of the Nowhere King escaping. Now we can move on. This is my favorite character. Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> Some creaky, creepy heckin' stuff happened. Um, horse and Rider meet the Nowhere King, a creature that is no longer a centaur. Uh, he attacks Horse and Rider, trying to find the key so he can escape. Horse's friends steal back the key from the uh, human and enter the portal, only to fight with the Nowhere King and end up pretty much losing him into the world where Horse came from. Yeah. So he escapes. This this is one of the creepiest villains in any show. Um yeah. period. You can you can yeah. fight me on this. Um very much is just evil and death incarnated. It's really not good chat. Yeah, yeah no. Um It's it's what happens when you put every single negative emotion into one being and mm -hmm. make it so that you almost like can't kill it yeah anyway uh, prepare for war I'll, I'll talk more in depth later about my favorite character yeah um, with the Nowhere King out for vengeance, Ryder plans on going back to, like, her base with all the other humans mm. to explain the danger that they're in. Horse, however, decides to stay in Centaur World to get the Centaurs to f together to fight. 
Uh, they go their separate ways, promising to meet back up when it's time to fight. Water Baby also kind of joins Ryder back to the other world so she can see what the Nowhere King is up to. That's all I put for that slide. Yep. I, I started rushing by by this point. Replaced? Question mark? Um, Comfortable Doug, again, he shows up he, he a shows lot. up a couple of times. Um, and you yeah. definitely don't have this slide in, like, the best place. Look, I rushed, okay? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Comfortable Doug reveals to the group that he can dig between the worlds and offers to go check on Ryder. Uh, while doing so, he finds out that Ryder, for the time, has a new horse named Becky Apples. Horse we finds don't about talk it. about Becky Apples. No, 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 no. We don't talk, we about, don't talk about, Becky. about Becky. <laughs> okay, that's the um, only time I'm doing that joke. <laughs> horse finds out about this and starts freaking out. Uh, due to this, we get a song sung by Horse and Wamawink about Becky Apples stealing Ryder from Horse. Wamawink is also still salty over the fish boy having a girlfriend. Yeah. Just thought I'd mention that because she does sing about it. She killed my. Wait a second, who killed my <laughs> girlfriend? Oh! <laughs> she told me my fish would die the next day, dead! You know what? She would kill your goldfish. This yeah, horse you, you see would that? kill look at your goldfish. Yeah. Look at that center image. That is the face of a horse that will tell you your goldfish will die and the next day, dead. Yeah. I. Yep. You really do have this all over the place. Oh, shut up. Look, look. I'm going based off of memory. You think I rewatched the whole thing to make this? No. No, oh, no. Where are we? So, um... Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna look through this. I, I actually technically have not looked through this light Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey! Come on! No, we finish it! We're almost done! Oh, no, 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 we are going to finish it. I just wanted to look through the rest of the slides. Oh, you put um, it back on. Yeah, okay, but, like, there, there is also, like, other things that we do need to talk about. Um, before we get to the final battle. Um, season two, just because Sunny didn't put this in her slides. You mean, um, I put season two in my slides. No, you, you, you put the final battle in your slide. There's other things in season I, two. I mentioned that a horse went to get an army. Did I? There's not much to talk about in the army. <laughs> she sings to a bunch of people. She gets upset and depressed and then gets them together. And I explain it later. Uh, yeah, nah, nah. okay. But yeah, uh, basically, um, a horse goes out and, you know, recruits a bunch of different people, and they all show up at the portal to get ready for battle. Yep. Um, and before everyone can get ready for the battle, um, the Nowhere King shows up with all of the centaurs, and those are the bad guys from, um, before. And, um... Aiden, I explained this in the slideshow. I didn't see it in the slideshow. Did you speed read the heckin' slideshow? Um, yeah, basically. <laughs> look, I see... I, 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 I see, um... Okay, 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 let's, let Okay, I'll go back into... Okay, there we go. Go ahead. Well, I, I'm, I'm just saying, for, for our things I did write down in the slideshow. I, I just I just skimmed read it, and look. You, you, just, just go, just go. <laughs> so, the bad- wait. No, you skipped stuff. No, I didn't. Wait, can you hop out and hop back in and refresh? Oh. So no, I, I'm- Pretty serious. There are three slide there are three slides that you're missing. Right there. Really? Yeah. 
So, so you would say that um, it's it's not. That it's not what? It's not fully, uh, it's not all in the right order then, technically. Okay, so we, we prepared for war. Yep, Back and then the you go to replace. Oh, and this image is new. Yeah, see? You were missing stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, the fan based bird tars. Did we that, that's did, did, did we really need to introduce them to to the to the fans? Yes. Also, this is all I have down for them. They're that's... pretty much super fans. Their texting is cursed. They text through eggs that hatch into little baby chicks that read out the text. That's disturbing. Yeah, it's it's the most disturbing form of tweeting that I think anyone will ever be able to write. Yeah. Um, and yeah, oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Almost forgot Stabby. Stabby! So, um, okay, remember that lizard that I mentioned before that got stabbed by Ryder? Um, he got adopted by Durpleton, uh, who named him Stabby. In which he Pretty starts much... out looking okay. like this here. It's kind of covered yeah. by chat. But it looks like, uh, like if you went online and searched up Lizard Man, uh, basically that's what you would find. Mm hmm. My, my favorite image is one in the bottom left. It's a little fuzzy, but I just love the quote I have unquantifiable corpses on my conscience, said by that tiny little thing. Yeah. Yep. And um, in this picture here, if you notice, that sword is kind of stabbing um, the, the little lizard guy there in the back. Yep. That's not how swords are supposed to be drawn on people, right? No, that sword is literally in this person here. And just, he will remove it and put it back in. And it is disturbing. It really is. He complained about it at first, and then after you get adopted by Durpleton, no one's staying after that. No, if no one to... realizes pain until you have to get adopted by Durpleton. Wait, wait, if you get adopted by Durpleton, a knife in the back feels feels like nothing. Yeah. But, um... I, I... Is that all you have? For Stabby, yes. Yeah, um... Stabby goes back and forth from kind of weird like all the others to like dark like the rest of uh the people in human in the human world like kind of like horse yeah kind of like horse um but from the enemy's viewpoint um which he does talk about a little bit and it is interesting this is a very interesting character and he's tied to Durpleton, who mm -hmm. I hate. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, war get together. Yep, war get together. A uh, horse gets the entirety of like the centaurs from Centaur World together for a quote unquote party. Because that sounded more appealing to them than war. Um, yeah, this... they they were there for war, but they honestly didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, how do we get everyone together for World War Three? We we start a shindig. Yep, that was right. They said uh, it was a shindig. Yeah. Yeah. We we just you know get some cake and some balloons and. Just don't mention the fact that they're about to get guns at the end of it and tell them, oh, by the way, half of you are going to die. <laughs> yep. Aiden <laughs> really gets into the dark half of it. I do! I love it! <sighs> okay. Um, battle starts earlier than expected. The Nowhere King brings his army to the portal, only for the main cast to be really prepared for battle. Uh, Ryder's army isn't there yet. 
And um, at that point, Horace decides to sacrifice herself to literally pause the Nowhere King using her um, backstory magic. Which, you know, like I said before, kind of like freezes people in place while she's, you know, searching for their angst in their mind. And so boy, she does that Nowhere, Nowhere King, King has angst. Oh yeah, you see that little deer or elk, whatever it it's is, an elk. the uh, elk, eh, elk, deer, elk, yeah. Um, he, the one with the candle, that's the angsty boy. Yeah, so um, in the top image up here, that's Nowhere King before he becomes the bottom image there. And yeah. before he becomes, do you explain this more on another slide? Yes. Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. Yep. Backstory. Um, the human general and the Knower King are actually the same person. Huge spoiler, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I meant to say spoilers before. Wow. Now this is spoiled. Uh, wow, if you're planning on watching Sonny. this. Oh, please. You do the same thing, and it's literally I give a give spoiler comment. warnings. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You give them after, too. No, not for something like this. No, not for something like well, this. Well, sorry, yeah, a post, I, I gave a post-warning. Screw pre-warnings, chat. <laughs> you warn people afterward. I yeah, see, see, Aiden even chat agrees. You spoil, too. Not all the time. I'm, I'm fairly good about my spoilers. Uh-huh. Either, either, either way, I'm gonna go back to explaining. So yeah, General Knower King, same person. Um, apologies for the major spoiler. There were once a centaur, though, who split his human self and elk self. I thought it was a deer at the time, so I said deer. Yeah. And his elk self into two, so he could be with a girl he liked. Um, the deer have kind of recognized, though, that they made a mistake splitting themselves in half. But the human half kind of went a little evil and uh, mistreated the deer because they couldn't kill him or else he'd die himself. Because they're, so he they're basically much... the same person, technically. Yeah, yeah, same person. So, yeah, he mistreated him a lot, like imprisonment. Ten years! I waited ten years! In Azkaban! <laughs> um, but yeah, Elk escapes, and the uh, Nowhere King then started creating the Minotaurs, and kind of corrupted himself to fight his, you know, human half. Uh, the woman who locked Horse and Rider in the portal is actually the woman he loved. Uh, Horse hears all this from the embodiment of the good left in the Nowhere King, which is the elk that we saw with a little light. Yeah. So, yeah. He daydreams um, about th food. This guy is the only good left um, in the Nowhere King. But it, it is just like the most heartbreaking story. Um, oh, yeah. And uh, spoiler alert. So, uh, the person that he falls in love with isn't just anyone it's technically the ruler of the human world but not she like the princess yeah she was like a princess and yeah. um he didn't think that she would be able to love him the way that he is as an elk tar and kind of the first thing that he does in order to try and win her affections is literally cutting his horns off there, there's a scene where you see that, like, and and she doesn't know this. She basically says, oh, yeah, they, they, you know, fall off after, you know, a certain time and blah, blah, blah. But you see that he has his horns next to a bone saw in a scene. And it's like, holy fuck. Um, yeah, it gets dark. Yeah, it, it, this entire story is incredibly dark. Um, mm -hmm. And just, he does genuinely love her. Like, and she genuinely loves him back. This isn't, you know, any trickery besides, like, splitting himself into two people. 
they are genuinely in love with each other and you do see it multiple times in the show not even in the flashback but like you can tell when they're in the nowhere realm which is like this realm between worlds that yeah. like when she's in the same room with the nowhere king the nowhere king legit acts like he knows her and has feelings for her which adds to creepiness of early nowhere king um oh, yeah. and um th yeah i think it's uh darker um after that too with with a scene that i i'm sorry i'm going to have to like drone on about this one scene because it's so masterfully done it's like one of my favorite scenes in like all animated shows So, sorry, uh, next one. Final battle. Oh, for mine, I thought you were going to draw it on the back. No, it's going to um, be after this one. Okay. Um, so, final battle. Horse escapes the Nowhere King. Uh, the general does some effed up shit. Uh, Ryder, quote unquote, dies. Like, Ryder tries to kill the Nowhere King. And since that would kill the general, the general pretty much stabbed her first. Which you legit um, see the sword go through Ryder. This show uh, gets so dark, and I love it. Good, good. The uh, general falls down a cliff. I'm pretty sure pushed by the uh, girl he liked. Uh, Becky Apples actually, I think, does it. Becky Apples did it. Okay, Becky Apples did it, but she's kind of the horse of the girl. Uh, she's the horse of liked. the queen. Yeah. Um, the General and the Nowhere King kind of go back together before they are actually killed by, um, by the princess, like, or queen, queen. or whatever she is at the she's time. She's a queen. Queen, right. Well, before she was a princess. But yeah, she get he gets killed by the queen, which, honestly, it looks like one of those moments where they'd, like, you know... Like, back out of it, like, not end up killing him. She actually killed him. Yeah. Which actually makes it more surprising than the whole, like, ah, oh, no, we're not yeah. sort of deal. Um, but then Horse returns to Centaur World. A rider is recovering from pretty much dying, but not. Like, she, she's alive somehow. Um, but Horse now becomes a shaman and lives with Ryder in Centaur World. And before you yeah. say anything else, Aiden, can you go to, go to the next slide so I can do the finishing thing? Sorry for the loss of brain cells. Welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> oh. I like to say welcome to my TED Talk at the end. So, the scene that I need to talk about is a scene where she does kill the Nowhere King. Because, for one thing, the song of the Nowhere King, um, the Hush Now, Quiet You Little Ones, comes back, you know, multiple times in the first season. But you don't hear it throughout the second season until this one. Where she does her own rendition of Hush Now. And... Mm -hmm. It is basically telling the Nowhere King, uh, the Elktar, I would have loved you the way that you were, but because of all of the lies and all the deaths, we can't be together. This has to end now. And she basically sings a final lullaby to the love of her life. And you see this like, this is tearing her apart. She is crying. She's angry. She is shaking. And just all the small details in her own body language. And I, you know, I don't always see this in a lot of shows. The body language tells you so much in this show. They pay attention to it. Like... As if, like, an actual actor was, like, performing this. They're not just stiff animations. It's so fluid. And the motion is just so focused on. That it's one of the greatest details of the show in my eyes. 
especially for something animated. And when it comes down to the final blow, you see her like raise this um this spear that is also the key. It it's weird. But you see her raise this spear up and she's shaking, she's crying, she's closing her eyes, and you see her hands loosen up and tighten. Just trying, like, showing that she's, like, convincing herself that she needs to do this. And all the while, Elktar is not asking for his life to be spared. He's agreeing with her. He is ready to die now. And he's basically trying to make it as easy on her as possible. Which... For me, that shows he did 100% love her with all of his heart. But the things that he did to himself hurt her. And now he realizes it. And now he realizes to free her, he has to go for good. And the final scene that you see with them together is her... Hands are loosening and tightening and then just deep breath, plunge, goes the black. This scene literally made my jaw just drop and I had to gush about it. It's one of my favorite scenes in all animation, I would have to say. Um, just, oh, I'm sorry. I had to rant. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I'm just you know. <laughs> I, it, it's it's a dark show. Yeah, it's it's a dark show. It's set up as this light-hearted show, but oh my god, does it go dark in all the right places too? Like it never goes too like unnecessary dark. It stays with like. This certain level of dark theme that's still fitting with what yeah. they've with what they've set up. I would say like I do really kind of like the um sort of thing where like the contrast between like really uh bubbly you no know, silly um like really bubbly silly centaur world and then like this epic you no know, adventure world of the other they don't, the other world doesn't have a name does it no it's just other world or human realm yeah but like the difference between them i just really like that yeah it's also friggin hilarious just watching horse have to deal with centaur world <laughs> oh yeah um yeah. and that does go throughout the entire season because just the weird stuff never stops for Horse. And she's just introduced oh, yeah. to more and more just out of nowhere weird concepts. Oh, yeah. I mean, if if you're a horse and your tail started making bad puns, like, you'd be as freaked out as Horse was. Yeah. I, I think, uh, I think we're melting the, the mind of Castle of Dragons because, uh, she uh, posted in chat. I love grapes. Yeah, no, you, you you definitely lose brain cells watching this show. You lose brain cells, but it's worth it because of the dark stuff, in my opinion. Like hey, I, when, when I, exp oh. I, I was gonna basically say, well, I can one hundred percent understand if someone, um, doesn't want to watch this or is just so turned off by the cutesy stuff i can get that but it's undeniable that this show has so many good things in it that like even the weird stuff is just worth going past it i'm done yeah i, I was gonna say something but i've already forgotten what i was gonna say i'm sorry oh no it's fine if I've forgotten it, then that probably means it wasn't that important. Or it wasn't, I just forgot it. 
If, if I forgot about it, it doesn't mean it was important. Although it might have been. See, I'd be great in like a... Uh, Life like and an death action. situation. <laughs> right? Imagine, I need to like go, you know, defuse like a bomb or something. Right? And, and someone asks, okay, okay, is the blue wire safe? I'd be like, I don't remember, which means it wasn't important. Either that or it is important and we're all going to die in five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what would be even worse? What? That was a conversation with Belle, and she's colorblind. So the blue wire so is actually green! So put us green. both together. <laughs> so put us both together in a, like, bomb defusal thing. Right? Uh, we, we'd both do terrible, because I'll never remember anything. And, and, Belle, and, is, and Belle is colorblind. We love Belle you, Belle, is, by uh, the way. Colorblind. We love you, Belle. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to join us today. But, yeah, okay. we, we, we all love Belle. Yep. Everyone gets, you know, a little made fun of. Sunny's memory, my dyslexia. Yeah. Cat's mic problems. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Um, but Wait, like, cat, cat with her mic problems is like our Fundy. Back when Fundy had that mic that kept cutting out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and now the chat is chooping. Choop! But, um... And we need to choop for, uh... Choop for Bell. Choop for Bell. Choop. Everyone in chat, hashtag choop for Bell. <laughs> hashtag choop for Bell. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um... So... This is the part where we talk uh, favorite scenes, favorite characters, and stuff like that. So, uh, I I think we've we've definitely talked about my favorite scene. So, um, you know, Sunny, what's yours? Oh God, I'm trying to think of what my favorite scene is. Durple drop. No, not the durple <laughs> drop. <laughs> it's definitely not the durple drop. I can say that much. Um, I honestly don't know what my favorite... I feel like my favorite scene is probably the, uh, Tornado. Yeah. Mostly because I just really like the song. Like, between Horse singing about, like, her, like, being brave and, you know, like, her war. Like, one of the lines Horse sings is just, I've never been afraid of the drums of war. While she's running around this, like really sinister creepy sounding horse tornado I, like it's it's just a really really epic yeah. song so i think that's probably my favorite part cuz i don't i don't have as big of an appreciation for like the extremely dark stuff yeah as you do i so know I, i'm definitely like the that. dark one <laughs> Yeah, I, I like I like that one because it's it's very in between, like a yeah. normal sort of adventure movie kind of dark, I but still the little bit of strangeness, like a tornado that is a horse. Yeah, I figured your favorite would have been um, anything with Water Baby in it, because I know Honest I know you and your sassy characters. I love sassy characters. I will admit, Water Baby, top-notch sass. Like, when she popped up in the show, I'm like, yep, that is a sassy character, which means she's now got to be at least in my top three. Yeah. Why, do you want to go Wait. over, like, your top characters? God, I don't even know if I have top character. Well, I probably do. Top no, five. No, I do. Top five? Yeah. Oh god, I just... I, I had to come up with my top three. Alright, well... <laughs> going off a top three, and then I'm going to add two more after. Um, top three would have to be Glendale, Stabby, and Water Baby. Yeah. I'm sorry, I like Stabby. I mean, Stab um, Stabby is a good character. He's yeah, just attached the hip with someone I don't like. <laughs> Pretty much. 
Um, if I was to add two more characters to it, I'd probably... I'd probably include Zulius as, like, number four. Who would be my fifth? I oh, don't know. I feel like I could include... I'd probably include Horse in there. Horse is pretty... Yeah. Pretty good. So, yeah, that's my top five. <laughs> My top five would definitely be um, Elktar, uh, in, which I'm also including Nowhere King um, in the whole Elktar part. Uh huh. Um, Wait, there are two different characters, though, technically. Technically, technically, they're not. Technically, that, that's like they in are... Kingdom of Hearts <laughs> saying, um, Sora's gonna be in my number one, which means that's also including Ventus, Roxas, no, Venetus, Data Story. Like, that, that's like saying you're gonna include okay. half of the Kingdom Hearts characters under Sora. <laughs> <laughs> so so technically nowhere king dash um elktar is uh my favorite character um second would go to horse i'm actually gonna put horse as my number two zulius hey. is definitely my number three because i love him um <laughs> four would be wamawink and five would definitely be Ryder. Okay. I, I actually do really like the character of Ryder. When she is on screen, which she's a lot more in season two, um, mm. she she definitely earns like one of my, like my favorite uh character roles. So Yeah, she is a pretty good character. Yeah. Eh. Um so since this is also a um, a TV show, favorite episode? Oh God! Um, hmm. that isn't a finale. I actually, I actually, I'm trying to think. The one that's coming to my head is one with Glendale mm -hmm. in it, and it's when they're trying to get their armies together. At some point, they meet up with these, um, like. Arctic. Oh, the Ted the, the Ted Talk episode. The Ted Talk episode. <laughs> so pretty much, Glendale gets captured by these Nowhere King supporters, and ends up like somehow like getting to them by talking about emotions, and at some point, literally holds a Ted Talk, like about you know all of them hiding because they're scared or whatever it's freaking hilarious because glendale actually for once i think uses a normal person voice yeah for that yeah she goes from the uh, absolute curse like creature that she is to a cursed creature that makes some that makes sense somehow and i freaking love it yeah um, they... Yeah, that, that's me. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, yeah, no, go ahead, finish. Oh, no, I was just concluding by going, yeah, that's my favorite episode. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah. My favorite episode that isn't a finale, and I say this because it's very easy to say, oh, the finale is my favorite. That's because the writers put the most work into it, honey bear. Anyways, um, the my favorite episode that isn't the finale, I think would end up being... The tree tar episode, um, mm. just because of how like philosophical it is, and seeing Wamba Wink's backstory, um, it's one of those episodes that kind of does make you think a little bit, even though it does have a certain person that we don't talk about. Bruno. <laughs> 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 um it does have him and his tarking farts in there uh but besides that we have someone dealing with a very strong prejudice someone dealing with um their own traumatic past and um 
we, we have horse dealing with her right now dilemma and the whole mm. idea of the the whole difference between what you want and what you need and Julius is just vibing yeah and Julius is just vibing <laughs> Julius doesn't need nor want anything Julius is perfect the way he is um yep but like trying like per se in the episode you have um oh I'm blanking on his name um which is sad we just went through all their names uh which one the bird one the bird one yeah Chad Chad that's right we have Chad turning into a horse at no point in time is this what he wants but it's what he needed to uh do to get over his prejudice you know walk a mile in my shoe um and apparently Thrupleton needed positive talking farts yep I mean I guess so it <laughs> it would be bad Look to it. have farts that insult you all the time if you need like positive support coming from coming from your booty then hey it's what you need yeah 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 you know talking about Derpleton in a positive matter literally just drained me <laughs> 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 um but yeah I found it like a f a really interesting episode with the two great songs in it cause you get the uh shaman song and you also get the first um, introduction to uh, the lullaby. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, both those songs are in that episode. Yeah. Um, and you get kind of a nice and interesting thought experiment. Um, and also that um, isn't fully mentioned in that episode, but the shaman's didn't give horse what she wanted but she gave they gave horse the um the information that she can dive into backstories which is what she needed especially yep. at the end yeah yeah so if they didn't do that then uh yeah it would have uh, turned out a whole lot more different so they gave her what she needed even though it wasn't what she wanted that would be like you know sunny going to the trees and being like hi i would like a million subscribers and what they actually give her is a bottle of water so that she can hydrate herself hydrate myself what they'd probably <laughs> give me is i don't know cure for add a cure for add <laughs> walk up trees can i be successful like no how about you stop forgetting everything no what we're actually gonna do is make it so that you stop forgetting things or which or would even... come, come in handy because it is very ironic that i am majoring in theater where i have to memorize very long things and yeah i have a very very uh bad time actually memorizing stuff although what if there are sometimes moments when you need to forget stuff and so you see i see here's the thing really i would what try you to need think, is here's it the thing really I would, what you need to get you know a memory that's that good it's the thing i would try to think of a moment where i'd need to forget something but i've probably forgotten about that moment yeah <laughs> I, I I can give you an example right now. Durpleton singing? Anything Durpleton. <laughs> <laughs> Anything Durpleton. Uh, yes, chat. Water is important. Sunny does need water to Water is important. I have water right next to me, actually. I, I like to use yeah. my water bottle with the little dragon on it. Because I like to show it off to Twit. <laughs> Even though I'm currently not streaming, I'm still showing it off to those of you who can't see it. Well, okay then. Um, 
<laughs> okay, so any final thoughts? I think I said I think I said everything I needed to. I um Yeah, same here. Um yep. so yeah, Centaur World. It looks so stupid on the outside, but it really is such a great show. With and only slightly stupid on the inside. Yeah, and only slightly stupid on the inside. You need to watch it for Comfortable Doug. <laughs> Comfortable Doug, you definitely need to watch it for. He's the uh, best character! What? Constantly, and they draw it. <laughs> I want to know what the sanity level on the people who had to draw Comfortable Doug was. Well, you do remember, um, marijuana is becoming very slowly legalized. Oh yeah, no, I'm very sure <laughs> that there people that worked on this. I think one of them was, you know, wanted to make something epic. The other one was high on any drugs possible. Oh yeah. There was definitely one guy that was like, dude... I need to make this epic uh, fantasy world, and I, I want to add centaurs to it. And and we're going to make a bunch of different centaurs. And uh, I'm going to do this really cool, interesting bad guy with this complex and interesting story behind him. And th this really great kind of love story along with it. And the other guy's like, dude, everything's a centaur. Dude, just that give me like five minutes to get like all my good shit together. I was curious if anyone's actually tried to like draw the centaur group like almost like in a non cutesy cartoony way, like not deep and dark. Like yeah. no, almost like Lord of the Rings kind of style, like yeah. cool looking. Yeah, um, I have seen horse done as um, a centaur um, in this yeah, cool kind of fashion. Not, mm. you know, centaur world fashion. Um, oh, yeah. And I've seen that with Becky Apples, too. Um, mm. Maybe we'll see more of that. Oh, before we sign off, Sunny. Yeah? Question. What? Out of all the centaurs that are in centaur world. Oh, no. Which type of centaur would you be? Um, I don't know, actually. Really? Like, out of the ones that we see? Yeah. Hmm. I honestly might say sheep tar. Really? Yeah. I was going to say... And I was going to say either um, deer tar, because we do see deer tar, and I think they're kind of the most normal looking of the tars. Um, the deer tar looks like, man. The, no, don't give me D&D. &D. Give me Centaur World, Google. Come on. It, it's kind of like <gasps> Oh my god, Glendale is a deer! Glendale's a deer?! I looked up deer tar and Glendale shows up. Glendale is a freaking deer. Oh my god, no, no. What? No, no, the tail is wrong. She looks like a cow. She, that, she can't be a deer. That really is, like, not the tail. Or, like... Why did she come up like when a I... a deer tar. Why did she come up when I type in deer tar? What? What is Glendale? <laughs> what is Glendale? It also does not come up with any images for deer tar on Google, guys. Really? Huh. Yeah. But uh, they look like um, elk tar. Yeah, I don't know. For me, it would probably be between, probably between a deer tar or a sheep tar. Yeah. Because yeah. they're the most kind of normal looking tars, and you know, deer and sheep are kind of cool. Um, yeah. The cat tars are also kind of cool too, but. Um, I, I just think I'd go more for, like, the deer tar. Or the elk tar. Eh. Um. I don't know, like, I, I can get, like, the, um, 
sheep toe, because first of all, you're you're always fluffy, which means you don't have to worry about a pillow. Yeah. Right? You also don't have to worry about cold weather. Like, you're constantly wearing a sweater. Yeah. And I don't know, you, you can be, like, you know, fun little colors. Yeah. Yeah. No, so I, no I'd I, probably... I, 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 no, sheep tar is very valid. Yeah, I'd probably choose sheep tar. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I I think that's it. Um. Unless you know, hey, chat. What type of centaur would you be? If you Tell say us in the, the if you say moltar, then oh my god. Sunny will hate you. Um. If you are I, moltar, I, I I won't hate I, you. I'll just strongly judge and question. I will one hundred percent respect you. There's also gopher tars. Which, oh yeah, go gopher tars are slightly better than yeah, because they don't sweat. Yeah, they don't. Um, but they're oh, you know what I just thought of? What? This is so you know how Sunny makes fun of her ADD all the time. Yeah, guess mm -hmm. who else also has some ADD? Um, I just thought Caddyshack, but instead of. The, um, oh, no. gopher? How it is? Oh, no. No, have not gopher comfortable dog. <laughs> no, no, no. I was gonna okay. say... Oh, no, I was gonna say a gopher tar. But yes, with comfortable dog. <laughs> if it's comfortable dog, then I agree with the explosions at the end. <laughs> if you... If anyone in chat has seen Caddyshack... And have seen the explosions at the end that um Bill Murray I forgot his I forgot his character name, but Bill Murray. Yeah. Literally <laughs> even while filming while filming, the explosions like worried some <laughs> passing by planes. That is what I would do if I ever found friggin' comfortable Doug in a field. I've I've disturbed Yeah, blow it up. Chat. I agree, chat. <laughs> I agree. Oh, have I have I ruined that movie for you guys now? No. <laughs> Every single time I see it now with with um, Sunny, I'm I'm just gonna say, oh yeah, that's just comfortable, Doug. Look, every every nah, I I can't. You can't ruin Caddyshack for me, cause one, the Gopher can never be ruined for me since I dressed as the Gopher once at a um at a con. So that experience just comes into my head, especially yeah. since I, I constantly had a speaker in that costume. <laughs> so I was always do, do, playing do, do, the Caddyshack do, 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 do. song. I'm alright. Don't nobody so, no. worry about me. Yeah, sorry. Even if you put comfortable Doug in there. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, Castle Dragons. We do know that they weren't actually trying to blow up the course. That, yeah. Um, uh, you know, C4 is a very interesting explosive. And you it's think, a lot of times. You, you think that you, you know, might need a lot more than you really do because it's technically like clay. And you don't see clay as being that explosive. But, um, yeah, it, it really is that explosive. So when you make life-sized animals out of C4, it tends to make a really big hole. But um, anyways, I guess that's how we're ending Centaur World by talking, yeah, talking about, about C4. <laughs> yeah, that's talking fitting. about C4. Oh, yep. let's put let, let's introduce Durpleton to C4. Anyways, oh my God, no, the Durple Drop would be so much more dangerous. Oh my God, we would be basically making a nuclear bomb. Anyways, um, <laughs> thank you all for coming in. Uh, to uh, our podcast, um, nor apologize for loss of brain cells. Yeah, we apologize for any uh, loss of brain cells, and um, yeah, um, I highly recommend this show. Um, and I'm since Cat and Bell aren't here, I'm I'm just going to say that they both recommend the show as well. Um, so, so four thumbs out of four. 
four th well, I mean, technically we have two hands, so we could do four thumbs. That's true, too. Anyways, mm -hmm. thank you all, and uh, have a good night. Hey. Hush now. Quiet, you little ones. That's terrifying. <laughs>